Okay, let's try to do this quick. Um, let's look. take a look at your sheet, take it out, and we're going to go straight for the first problem, where it says 2 fifths divided by 2. So we want to interpret fractions, okay? We want to create, we want to create models. So let's quickly draw 2 fifths. So something that's cut into 5 pieces, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, and of which we have we have two. Now, this question was, I don't know how it was done, but um, I hope you realize that there was nothing to do here, okay, in this particular question. Uh, because if you have two-fifths and you're dividing by two, easy enough, somebody can take this top part, you, and I can take this bottom piece for myself. So, two-fifths divided by 2, you end up taking 1 fifth and I'll take the other 1 fifth. So 2 fifths divided by 2 means that each of us will get 1 fifth. So there was not much to do in this one. Um, number 2, 3 fifths divided by 2. So let's draw something that has 3 fifths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And again, shade it in. Okay, I think shading it in is a little bit easier, guys, than just using a pencil and, you know, uh, going across. Pick a color, nice, nice color where you can uh, clearly see. So there's three fifths, and you want to divide that by two. Well, in this particular case, we have to do something with our three fifths because, as it is, we have three pieces, only two of us. So best way was to cut this in half. By cutting this in half we create six pieces, which now one person can take these three and the other person can take these three. So three-fifths divided by two means that each of us will take three pieces, one, two, three, out of a total of, if you count every piece here, gives you ten. So three-fifths divided by two means three-tenths for one person and three-tenths for the other person. Okay. Uh, next one, we get 3 fourths divided by 2. So again, let's create. Wow, why is this lagging? 3 fourths. I don't know why it's so slow. 3 fourths, so create, let's create something that's 3 fourths. 1, 2, 3. Um, and that's so 3 fourths means we have these 3, 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth. And you want to divide that by 2. So, to divide that by 2, again, hopefully you realize that um, three pieces can't be divided evenly to two people. So, let's cut this right here in half again. So, this becomes almost like the previous problem. Okay, those three fourths divided by 2 means that one person will take these three pieces on the right side, and the other person will take these three pieces on the left side. So, three fourths divided by 2. Now it means that each person takes three out of a total of, if you count all the pieces now, are eight. Three over eight. Next question, two-fifths divided by four. Again, create something that has five pieces, of which two um, you have. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we're going to do this in slow motion because because I don't know, I don't know. Um, there we go, two-fifths. This time around, you want to divide it among four people. So here's your chocolate bar, you have the bottom two pieces. You want to divide it among four people. So how can we do that? Well, let's see if we cut this here, right here, create a cut. Does that create enough for four people? Yes, it does. One, two, three, four. So each person we'll get one out of how many slices do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of ten. So two-fifths divided by four means that everyone takes one-tenth. <sighs> well, max supposed to be faster, but not in my case, I guess. Um, five over six divided by three, or not, divided by three, there we go. So let's create something that has six slices or six pieces. Okay. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. There's something with six slices, and you want to highlight five because that's what you have. Okay, so out of the six pieces here, slices, um, I have five. Now, I want to divide this among three people. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, and that's not going to work. So let's again cut this in a way where three people can share this evenly. Well, let's see if this helps. If I create, oh, not that, obviously. If I create, let's cut that in half. Let's see if that helps. Cutting that in half, I create one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I have ten now pieces and three people. That's still not work because ten and three. 10 divided by 3 doesn't really work evenly. So instead of cutting in half, let's cut this in thirds. So let's cut this once and cut this another time again. Now, that seems to work. So this whole column over here will be given to one person. This whole column will be given to another person. And this whole column all the way up here given to another person. So 5, 6 divided by 3 people means that this person will take 1, 2, 3, 4, five pieces out of one two three four five one two three four five six one two three five out of eighteen so each of us each, each of the three people will take five out of eight five out of eighteen the other person will also take five out of eighteen and the last person will also take five out of eighteen okay last question on this side uh, is half divided by four so let's say take something that's been cut in half and there we go let's highlight let's highlight the middle highlight so here's something that's been cut in half or not there we go half four of your friends come at lunch and ask you or beg you for a little piece of that uh, chocolate that you have so as it is it's not gonna work so is cutting it like like this work no because now you got two pieces and four people begging you for little piece of that chocolate so that's not gonna work so let's go on back so what if you cut it two times no that makes three pieces so you can now have one two three and four people that still doesn't work let's cut this a little bit more in terms so let's cut it once two three now you get one two three four equal pieces that goes to your first friend, this one goes to your second friend, this one goes to your third friend, and these, this one goes to your fourth friend. So each of your friends, if you take that little piece right there, he or she is going to end up taking one piece or one out of one eighth of your chocolate bar. Okay? Uh, moving on to the next side, or the left side, or right side. But this one's the easier ones, okay? Whole numbers, definitely divided by. Uh, fraction are much easier. So first question we have is that's four divided by a third. Okay, so we need to start by drawing the four. So take something very simple. I don't know. I like the rectangles. So draw four full rectangles because that's what you have you have. And basically you want to know how many times one third can fit inside of these. So take your first bar here cut into thirds, take your second, cut into thirds, take your third, cut into thirds, and take your fourth, cut into thirds. So how many thirds do we have in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if you have four chocolate bars and you want to break it into thirds, you would have a total of 12 little pieces. Okay. Uh, 2, 7 divided by quarters. So again, same concept. You got 7 Okay, if you want to use circles, quarters works nice with circles, okay? The reason I said don't use circles too much is depending on the number of slices that you cut in. It kind of becomes difficult to draw. So here we have one, two, three, quatro, cinco, six, seven. Okay, seven chocolate bars. You want to cut them all into quarters. So four pieces. Each bar, you want to cut them in four pieces. Okay, so that's ten. You want to give this away to as many people as you can. And if you broke them in quarters, okay, so you have one, two, three, four, you would have a total of 28 little pieces that you could give away. Okay? 
Uh, number 9, 3, I'm sorry. 9 divided by 5th. Yikes. Okay, 9 is a big number. And 9 is an invisible number because it's not writing. Try again. Oh, there it is. 9 divided by 5th. So, ooh. Okay, hello. Here we go. Okay, divided by 5th. So, I want to draw 9 of these. Right, because that's what you want to start. You got nine full bars, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hopefully the drawing is better than mine. So we have nine complete chocolate bars, okay, and we're gonna cut them into fifths. So one, two, three, four, five. 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 Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So if you cut them into fifth, every chocolate bar you cut them to like fifth, 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 one fifth, one fifth, one fifth. You would end up with forty-five little pieces. So how many one fifths can fit in nine chocolate bars? Can fit uh, fit forty-five times. Okay. Uh, this one, some of you had trouble in class. 3 divided by 3 fourths. Okay. Um, so let's draw 3. And you know what? I'm going to draw this a little bit differently. Um, let's draw it this way this time. 1, 2, and 3. And what are you going to divide that? You're going to divide this into fourth because this number right here tells you. Okay, so you want to divide into fourth. Okay, so every bar here, one divided fourth. You want to know how many times three fourths would fit inside all these. So let me see if this works. Um, okay, this is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. So it fits one time. Okay. This is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. So it fits two times. This is one fourth, this is two fourths, and with this piece, three fourths, it fits three times. And finally, you have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. So, how many sections were we able to make with three fourths? We were able to make one, two over here, the reds, three of the greens, and four here. You have three bars, and you want to make, cut them into three fourths sizes like this. One big size, okay. We're able to do it one time, two times with the red, three times the green, and four times the black. Okay. Uh, six. Ooh, big number. Ah, uh, stop, 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 stop. Or not. Six. Hmm. Okay, let's try it again. Six. Okay. Hmm. Now it's not writing. Yes, no. There we go. Six. No. Err. Okay. No. Okay. Okay, no. There we go. Six divided by three fifths. So let's create six bars here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and you want to cut these all into fifths. So, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And again, you want to make three fifths. You want to count this in three fifths. One fifth. Two fifth, three fifth, so that's one. Changing colors. One fifth, two fifth, three fifth, so you're able to make another piece. Change colors. One fifth, two fifth, three fifth, so you make another piece. Change colors. One fifth, two fifth, three fifth, that's another piece. One fifth, two fifth, three fifth, that's another one. One fifth, two fifth, three fifth, that's another one. One fifth, 
two fifths, three fifths, that's another piece. Try this color. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, that's another piece. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, that's another piece. And finally, we have our last one. One fifth, three fifths, two fifths, sorry, three fifths. So, how many times were we able to count to three fifths? We were able to count once over here. Once. Two is a yellow. Three is a purple. Four is a black. Five was the blue. Six was the red. Seven was the green. Eight was the black. Nine was the purple. And ten was the red. So, we were able to count to three fifths ten times. 10 times. So 3 fifths fits into 6 10 times. Okay? And our last one. We have 4 divided by 4 fifths. So it's not, so let's create 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Or crooked, but it's okay. So create, cut them into fifths. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. This time we want to count to uh, count to four fifths. We going to count to four fifths. Okay, so let's choose red. Right, break this into four fifths. So this is one fifth, two fifth, three fifths. Four fifths. You're only going to make one piece. That's four fifths. Change colors. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. That's another piece right there. Um, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, four fifths. Jeez. That's another piece. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. Okay. And it seems like it would fit one more. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. So we were, let's see how many pieces we're able to make. We're able to make one here. Okay. The red. Another one was the green, so that's two. Another one was the black, so that's three. Another one was the blue, so that's four. And another one was the red, so that's five. So four fifths fits into four. Five times. All right, and that's about it. 6.37 right now, and I am uploading it.